Hi there, this is uh, James from vlogtech.blogspot.com and I want to talk today about uh, OpenOffice. Um, if you haven't heard of OpenOffice, it's a freeware program uh, designed uh, more or less to take the place of uh, things like Microsoft Office, which is a big bulky program that takes up way too many resources. Um, first of all, I'll show you where you can get OpenOffice. So first thing, we're going to pull up the browser. I use uh, Mozilla Firefox. Um, you might use Internet Explorer or Opera or Google Chrome. Uh, I prefer Firefox at the moment. So you go up to the address bar. You type in www.openoffice.org. Okay, and then you click on this link that says, I want to download OpenOffice. And click on Download Now. All right, you're going to get a pop-up window. Uh, it's asking you to save the file. And once that's finished downloading, uh, depending on your speed, it could take uh, 5 minutes to 45 minutes um, or longer. Uh, so we're just going to put the video on pause here while that finishes. Okay, so that's finished downloading. Uh, I've downloaded it directly to my desktop. Um, as you can see, this is the installation file here. Um, I'll open it up and uh, show you what we have here. Okay, now I'm installing uh, only two programs here. It's uh, Writer and Impress. Uh, Writer is basically uh, your word processor. Uh, Impress is pretty much uh, a PowerPoint replacement. You also have Calculator, Draw, and uh, Math and Base, um, but you may not necessarily need any of those. Uh, so you hit Next and you go through the installation. I'm just going to pause this video until this is done. Okay, so here's the uh, installation wizard completed screen. So we just hit finish, and now we have uh, OpenOffice Writer. Um, as you can see, I also have Microsoft Works on here, and I've just recently uninstalled Microsoft Office's uh, beta uh, 2010 or whatever it was. Um, OpenOffice, fortunately, is entirely free. Um, the only problem that I've found with OpenOffice is that it can often be a little bit laggy, a little bit unresponsive. It takes a couple of seconds to catch up to your keyboard sometimes. Um, but I've also got a few tips here that can help us speed this program up. So here you have uh, basically your default um, OpenOffice writer screen. Uh, you've got a ruler uh, you've got your formatting options and your save options and uh, all that stuff. Um, now, by default, there are a lot of things in this program that slow it down. So what you want to do is go to Tools, Options. You want to open up the OpenOffice.org uh, drop-down and go down to Memory. And these can all be changed. So basically what we want to do is change the number of steps to something lower than 100. Um, it's recommended to go 20 or 30. Um, these are the undo steps. Basically this is um, how far back you can undo. And generally you don't need any more than 20 or 30. Uh, this is the graphics cache, so you'd want to change that from 6 to say 128. Memory per object. We'll want to change that from 1 up to 20. Uh, we won't bother with that. Uh, number of objects should be around 20. Um, I think by default it's not normally at 20, but I've already had this program installed. Uh, also, I don't normally recommend um, placing things in your startup, uh, especially if you have an older computer. 
but with this program I would recommend load openoffice.org during system startup. Um, basically what that does is it, uh, it gives you a quick start of the writer program. Uh, also we can come over here and go to Java and remove the check mark from use a Java runtime environment and then hit OK. Um, now the next time you start up this program it's going to boot up a lot faster uh, and as you can see the text is following along nicely with my keystrokes. Um, another thing that I like to do, uh, I don't like to have a lot of this clutter all over the screen when I'm trying to write. Um, so what I do is I actually go to view, I remove the ruler, go to view again, go to toolbars, and remove the standard toolbar. Now what you have left is just this nice uh, clean looking work area and the only thing I've left here is uh, some quick access to formatting options like my font, font size, um, text alignment, and uh, the bold italics and underline. Um, to me that's pretty much all I need when I'm writing unless I'm doing something specifically that requires uh, one of those other features like the ruler. Okay, I think that about does it for OpenOffice Writer. Um, like I said, if you haven't heard of it, or you have heard of it and just haven't tried it yet, I would uh, definitely go ahead and give it a try because, first of all, it is free, and it, you can pretty much do anything in it that you can do in uh, Microsoft Office Suite. Thanks for watching the video. My name is James from vlogtech.blogspot.com and stay tuned for more.